guys. It is me, Brandy. I am so sorry that I'm just getting around to recording this now. I probably won't be up until the morning now. It's 10.43 p.m. Uh, Pacific U.S. time. I just had a really crazy day. I was really busy, and I came across some information earlier today, but of course, you know, business has to come first. So I have to do my business stuff, and then I just spent a lot of time just kind of researching things today. So I was going to do a traditional video where I kind of write everything out and post it, but I just really like this information is so confusing in so many ways that I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys. It's just easier to do that. I don't really have time to cut and paste and, you know, screenshot all that stuff so i just wanted to talk to you guys directly do apologize for the background beep that is my fire alarm i have 20 foot ceilings in my house and cannot reach it to change it so someone's gonna have to come out and do it um so just ignore that but i just kind of wanted to get right to it um this information is very interesting it's not every day or often that i'm able to kind of post tangible things without risking certain things so it's nice to be able to find some information that i can actually post and show you guys like directly um i the information that i have basically the beginning of it or most of the beginning of it um it's not really originally from me i had actually um heard about somebody that had uncovered it on a forum and I was talking to somebody like kind of like a third party thing and we were having a conversation. She mentioned a few things for me. So I, um, I don't know. I really don't, I'm not really involved with the death hoax community that much anymore. So I really don't, I don't really belong to any forums or anything. So I was just like, let me just kind of look into it myself. And it definitely caught my attention because it had a lot of information and because not only the information that this person had found out, but I did some further digging and paid for something actually to get like more information so this is really interesting stuff so i just kind of want to get right to it um so basically what happened was this other person the who belongs to this forum i guess she was doing some kind of research um or she was looking for something for her forum and she was going to uh, look up some information on the original death hoax forum and she when she put in michael jackson death hoax.com um she realized it was registered to some interesting party. So michaeljacksondeathhoax.com, if you guys um, remember, actually was uh, the original death hoax forum. That's the one that, I think it came out in June or maybe July, I think it popped up in July. Originally it was um, just a blog and then the actual like forum I think came in around July-ish. I don't really remember. I know that I was reading the blog and I know that I registered for the forum, um, but I don't really remember the exact dates of when the forum popped up. But anyway, that was the original site. And I guess over the years, more pe people have actually owned it. And I'll get more into that in a minute. Um, but in any regard, she looked it up and it looks like as of July 19, 2017, it was picked up by somebody else. So we'll get to that right now. We know I just, I did a ton of videos in the summer about July 11th and um, just people were expecting this huge return from Michael and, you know, all the Spider-Man stuff came out and it was just like kind of chaos. A lot of stuff happened in July that just kind of pointed to Michael being alive. And I don't know, a lot of people, I guess they saw it or they didn't, but I know I definitely like saw a, like a kind of a surge and like things all over again in July of 2017. So it's kind of interesting that this happened. So let me pull up the information real quick. Um, it looks like, okay, so basically on whois.com, it has michaeljacksondeathhoax.com, which I'm sure you guys can see. Now, if you will notice, um, the registrant for this is Gregory Chamberlain, but it has the organization listed as um the estate of Michael Jackson, which is kind of crazy. Um, so when I saw this information, I was like, oh my God, of course, initially there was like a shock because first of all, the date, I, you guys know in July, I like just the videos I posted, there was a lot going on. And the estate of Michael Jackson, of course, like knocked me out for a minute. But then I started thinking like, well, you know, I guess anybody can kind of write that as an organization because I have two business websites and I know that when I register them, I can put anything as the organization. So at first I was just kind of like, well, that could be anyone just saying that. Um, so I kind of was like, eh, I'm not going to really get into that. But then I thought about it for a minute and I was like, well, that's kind of bold to do because that is like an estate that's a legal entity. So why would someone put that there and like risk like getting sued? So I was like, okay, 
I'm going to look up the information. So who the hell is Gregory Chamberlain? So of course I went to his uh, Twitter account and this is all that I saw on the Twitter account. Basically Gregory Chamberlain, founder of the Indies and the Indies Network of Entertainment Brands. Um, has a website. Just kind of scroll through. Nothing really that interesting. Um, just I've, I didn't really have a lot of information about him. His Facebook is equally as bare. Not a lot of followers. Not following a whole lot of people. Um, so I was just kind of like, okay, what is this guy's deal? Who is this person? Like, this is so strange. So I went back to the actual uh, who is thing, and I saw. I went down further, and I said, okay, like administrative contact information has sub registry in care of sub registry sub registry intellectual property management which is basically that's stating that he, um, his website is hosted by the sub registry.com i have a like a an online store for my candles and my online store for my candles is through big commerce so when you look at this part for my site where it has like um the registry information it basically says big commerce so that's how i know that basically this sub registry is his website so i was like okay that's interesting so i decided to pull up sub registry and as you'll see it has sub registry intellectual property management it has the about it says sub registry privately serves many major emerging recording and theatrical artists and related companies in specialized areas with the goal of keeping such clients and their personal information private and under the surface like a submarine interesting reference there sub registry does not serve the general public it only takes on new clients strictly through a referral basis and personal in, um, introductions through personal Managers, business managers, agents, and attorneys. If you're attempting to reach one of our clients to sell them something, pitch an idea, or to send fan mail, this is not the channel to do that. Thank you for your understanding. So I was like, okie dokie. We have that. Um, it's interesting. So this company, basically, I guess he works for this company and they provide this service to keep domains and information very very private, but it's confusing because if they keep information, you know, so private, um, why does it have the Michael Jackson estate on it? So that was just like weird to me that it was like, you're using this super, super duper secret private company. But then on the other hand of that, you have the estate list on there. So I still wasn't a hundred percent convinced. I couldn't really find a lot of information about this guy. So I was like, this is really like weird. Like who is this dude? I don't understand, like, you know, why he's writing this estate on here, but he has this, like, weird company. I, I thought it was kind of dodgy, but, you know, me being the investigative person I am, um, I was like, this is, I have to take this kind of a step further. So I decided to pull up, I went to um, this registry site, and I put in his name, uh, Gregory Chamberlain, and this is where it gets crazy as hell weird so if you look this is a list of all of the sites that are registered under him okay what he does the first one that like totally weirded me out was um michael jackson 3d.com oh wait that's wrong sorry guys okay michael jackson 3d.com so i go on here and i'm like what the hell um if you look at it it was registered in August of 2017. Um, basically, the registrant's name is Gregory Chamberlain, owned by the estate of Michael Jackson. Again, care of registry. I'm like, okay, this is crazy. This is like a big deal, right? This is like the estate of Michael. Again, on another Michael Jackson project. Um, this was just in August. So that was crazy. I tried to go to the site, but it didn't work. <clears throat> so I went back. Then I went to the next one I saw, which was mjjventures.com. This was registered just in December. Don't know what the hell MJJ Ventures is, but again, it's saying the estate of Michael Jackson um, in care of sub-registry, Gregory Chamberlain. So I this just opened up. Um, it's a site that's owned because initially what I thought was maybe the estate was just buying up domain names so that people could not, like we have a lot of people who fake being Michael, we know that. Like, we all know that. So I was thinking that maybe what happened was the estate um, just 
was like, you know, no, we're not going to allow people to do this. So we're going to buy up these domains and then people can't use them. But this is like weird because this name like MJJ Ventures, like that's clearly a project that's being worked on. And that just opened in December because right now we're on December 20th. This was just December 3rd. That totally weirded me out. Um, and then let's see, let's go back. There's a couple other ones on here that were really weird. Okay, the jacksonestate.com. That was open in September. Totally random, like who would try to fake being the estate. So again, estate of Michael Jackson. Um, and then we have the michaeljacksondeathhoax.com, which we already know about. That's on July 19, 2017. Um, and then there was, let's see. Michael Jackson Thriller 3D. And this was the actual only one that literally the site works. I went to the website and this this opened up on August of 2017. This talks about the Thriller 3D project. It says owned by the state of Michael Jackson, run by Gregory, Ch Gregory Chamberlain. So this is like, this guy is like legitimate. Like this guy clearly works for the estate. The estate is clearly behind these domains. Though this is like, well, you know, I mean, you know where I'm going with this because it's like, what the hell is going on? Why would they, why would they acquire the Michael Jackson death hoax.com? Like, why would they do that? What would be the reason for acquiring that? What's going on here? There are tons of death hoax. Like, um, there's like, basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is there's like, there's tons of like different domains that could be listed for the death hoax. There's like .org. There's, you know, there's so many different ones that could be listed. So why on earth would they need to focus on the Michael Jackson death hoax.com specifically? That whole site is shady anyway. And now I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I just think it's insane that was acquired. And like I said, guys, I'm not prying into anything. This is very public information. I mean, this was just available. Thank God for the original person who actually pulled it up and saw it. But I mean, I might have dug a little bit deeper, but like, come on, like this is public information. This is not even hiding. And I'm sure the estate will have some elaborate excuse for it, but like, I'm not even going to like, I mean, it's like, you know, the jig is up. You can't even explain your way out of this. That's crazy to me. Like why the hell is the Michael Jackson death hoax.com registered to the estate? Like I said, the guy who did it clearly Gregory, he's not really like that big of an interest because clearly he just works for this company that protects artists interests. So I really, I, I wouldn't start bothering him or stalking him or he doesn't, he's important, but he's not that important. He's just doing his job. But what's more crazy to me is how the estate hired this company to like buy the domain for Michael Jackson death hoax.com. That's weird. So like with all this, I was like, okay. So my mind was kind of racing. I'm like, what is going on? Especially when I saw the MJJ venture because I'm like, that was just register. So what are they about to do? There there must be, pro I know I did read about two weeks ago, there was a bunch of different projects that are going to be coming out. So that must be true. Um, they announced they're going to be doing all kinds of stuff like an amusement park. So that makes sense. That's not really too dodgy. Um, but again, I was just stuck on the Michael Jackson death hoax.com thing. So I decided to go to domain tools. And basically this is a report. It's a report on the history of a website of a domain and i was like okay this this michael jackson death hoax.com there has been so many specs so much speculation so many rumors like but nobody really had the exact answers for anything there's just like a lot of different things that people guess and but no one actually had the information like proof factual information about this website like what the hell was going on with it who started it originally and we knew we know that sam quote unquote sam is the one who opened the website but there was just there was just a lot of history behind this website so i was like you know what it was 49.99 i was i'm gonna go ahead and buy the report and you guys can buy it too um but i bought the report just so i can actually like see exactly what exactly is going on with this. So technically you don't have to buy it because I have it here, but I'm going to go over, I'm not going to go over every single thing. There's a big part of it that I'm actually going to probably say for another video um, because it's just a lot of detail, but I wanted to go over a couple of things with you guys just to get an understanding of how weird this is. So we have the domain report, michaeljacksondeathhoax.com. I bought the report today, which is the 20th. Um, so it basically just talks about the, 
the, the report. It says the report documents a thorough analysis of the internet domain name michaeljackson.com. It draws on the extensive domain tools uh, data set and aims to deliver a comprehensive view of the domain's ownership profile, key historical events, and technically linked domain names. All data in this report is or was freely available through standard internet DNS and query protocols. Domain Tools has not altered the data in any way from its original form, except in certain instances to format it to, uh, for readability in this report. Data from Domain Tools is presented as is and is captured from the digital, from the digital source. I'm sorry, the original source. We make no representations or warranties of fitness of any kind. Then it talks about like its actual program, like what it is, how to contact them, blah, blah, blah. So it's a legitimate company. Their information is very accurate. There's not mistakes, there's none of that. So they wanna just make that clear. So you go down to the domain profile and it gives you a little bit of information. So if right off the bat, we don't even see George's name. Um, oh, sorry, not George. <laughs> we don't even see Gregory's name. We see registered owner, estate of Michael Jackson, which is crazy to me because this is michaeljacksondeathhoax.com, registered owner, estate of Michael Jackson. That's one thing. Um, own domains, about 457 other domains, which I will get to that later. That whole, that is in itself is crazy. Has the email addresses, um, registrar is Enom, Inc. So, Basically, Enom is the, it's kind of like the GoDaddy, like which you use. So basically, um, the, like the name server is basically like, like I said about the like big commerce, that's going to be the uh, sub registry. But then what it's actually hosted on is going to be like Enom, which is similar to like GoDaddy. Um, it was created on July 19, 2017, expires in one year from then. And it was actually updated that day also. There's no website attached to it as of right now. Just has the server, name server again is gonna be the subregistry.net. Um, so you go down, has the current record, michaeljacksondeathhoax.com. I think it has Gregory's name in this. Yeah, Gregory J. Chamberlain, organization owned is Michael Jackson, a state of Michael Jackson, blah, blah, blah. And then has all the information that I already shared with you guys. Um, and then you go down to ownership history, whole history for the Michael Jackson death hoax.com domain tools has 32 distinct historical ownership records for Michael Jackson uh, death hoax.com. The oldest record dates June 27th, 2009. Each record is listed on its own page, starting with the most recent record. The date at the start of the section indicates the first time we capture the record. The website screenshot, when available, will be the image capture as close as possible to the record date. <clears throat> and then just talks about who is. Uh, basically, there's some things in this report that goes back to 2001. That's like, yeah. Um, we'll get to that later. Okay, so... This is like the history. So basically, this is history. This goes like it counts backwards. So it's in July, it was Gregory. All before then, before July 2017, Pearl Jr. had this domain. I don't know how Pearl acquired this domain, but I believe her Michael Jackson Insider was being redirected from this. When people typed it in, it took them to her site. Um, I don't really, really get, and I don't really like get along with Pearl, so I don't really like you know talk that much about her or discuss her on this video, but because I just don't want anything getting twisted or whatever, so I just I'm kind of trying to skip through all that. But just so you know, this website was registered to her. I do believe Pearl got it from somebody else. I don't know who gave it to her or it just became available, but she's had it for a long time. That domain name was actually the domain was actually offered to me in 2010 um, from somebody, and I told them I did not want it. Um, so I'm guessing that person gave it to her, but I, I'm not going to say for sure because I don't know. I don't want to go on record to say that that's the same person. That person might have given to somebody else that then gave it to her, but it was definitely offered to me in 2010. I said I didn't want it because I just, there was a lot of stuff going on, a lot of drama. I didn't want to be a part of it, so I told them no. But basically, um, so 2017, I'm just going to scroll as fast as I can through here so that you guys um, 
don't have to wait so long. But I think I want to say that she acquired this in 2000 and a 12 let me see maybe it was 2012 let me see I'm trying to go back as far as I can I think 2012 Pearl actually acquired this and let's see here 2013 um yes it looks like 2012 is when Pearl first got this I don't know when 2012 um, January. Oh, maybe it was before then. Yeah, it looks like she got it in 2011, actually. So she's, this was offered to me in 2010. Yeah, so it looks like Pearl acquired this on May 3rd, 2011, is when she actually registered it to her information. So this was in May 2011. Actually, she created on May 1st, 2011. It's when she got it. So before that, it had a date of August 22nd, 2010, where they, they they randomly pulled it, and it was, like, not matched to anyone. This was August of 2010. I told you guys it was 2010 when someone offered it to me. It was, like, actually around the – like, maybe it was a little after the year that Michael um, – the year mark of what happened to Michael. This one offered this to me, and I told them I didn't want it. Um, so this was August of 2010. So June, but as of June 26, 2010, it was still owned by the original registrant, who is Sarah Bernarding. I guess that's Sam. I don't really know too much about Sam. I wasn't really involved with Sam. I know that allegedly, like, she freaked out and, like, didn't want to be a part of it. I just, that whole Sam story is very sketchy to me, and I think I know who Sam is. I just, I don't believe, a lot of people in this community have pretended to be, like, multiple people. Um, and. I don't want to really get into all that, but they just, they just lied and they were like, they had different, cause you never saw their faces, never saw who they were. They had just like multiple personas. And I think that Sam is actually still around, but I think that she just wanted the heat off her back immediately. So she dumped this off as this, but I just believe that this girl has been around this entire time. I don't think she went anywhere, but anyway, um, she was the original registrant and it had, on here that it was registered on June 27th. But actually, when you look at the original record from when she registered this, this was actually registered on June 25th, which in itself is really weird. So the original registration for MichaelJacksonDeathHoax.com was in fact on June 25th, 2009. It was not June 27th. I don't know if maybe that's when they got the final record, but this was actually registered on June 25th. And that to me is like insane because like who the hell would think like that day? Like, oh, I mean, I mean, I guess it's, it's a given like, you know, Tupac, you know, Elvis, like, okay, yeah, I'll totally Michael, you know, faked his death or whatever. But I just think it's really strange that someone would that day get the notion and I don't believe that, I don't believe that her, like, I don't think the blog that she had, I don't think it was MichaelJacksonDeathHoax.com. I think it was like something else. I don't think it actually became Michael Jackson Death Hoax until she had the form. I could be wrong, but I don't think it became that until she actually got the forum. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't know. But I just think it's really strange that who does that? Like who's like, oh, you know, I think I'm going to freaking make a death hoax website the day that someone dies. I just, because it happened. She is in Monongahela, Pennsylvania, which I'm from Pittsburgh. It's probably about not even like 20 minutes away from where I grew up and lived. She was on the East Coast. So it was later for us when we found out that Michael died. I think he died, quote unquote, died at like one or something. I don't remember what time it was. It was like something like it was like one or two. And on the um, West Coast where we were, it was like way later. So I don't know why that would be a thing. So I just don't trust that any, in itself. Um, but yeah, so that was actually registered on June 25th, 2009. So you have the only people that really have owned this is um, Sam, Pearl, and now this guy. Only two registrants, which is Enom and GoDaddy. It has the history of the name server. So the different name servers that have that own it. So basically you have um, Sam, 
secure server. Then you have, I guess, the cache parking when it was just sitting there doing nothing. Then you have Pearl that got it. Um, it sat for a while before Pearl registered. Like I said, it, it, I was offering it in 2010. Um, and then Pearl got it in 2011. So that's just really weird. I don't really know what was going on with that whole thing. Like I said, I can't speak for Pearl. I'm not her. Maybe she can tell you guys exactly who she got it from. But I was offered it and then nothing for like a year. Then I guess she got it later. So I don't know. But um, so it was really only, only Pearl, Sam, and this estate have owned this website domain, um, which is crazy. Then it has history of the IP address. Nothing really like interesting. I mean, it doesn't change that often. Um, there was no screenshots available for it. No connected domains. So this next part is like, <laughs> I don't know if I should just like, I think for the next, for the final part of this, um, I am going to just do like a separate video about it because it's really, 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 really crazy. Um, but I'm afraid now that if I don't do it, someone's going to probably like go and buy this report and try to beat me to it. So maybe I should just do it. I don't know. I guess I'll just do it because I just, this is just too good not to share. And I don't want someone to like, you know, how people are like, oh, I'm going to do it. You know, so I'll just, I'll just, I'll just try to like, this is going to be probably a long video, but I'm going to just try to go over this with you guys so that you can understand like how crazy all of this shit leading up to this is. So we know now that for whatever reason, the Michael Jackson death hoax.com is registered to the Michael Jackson. Well, it's not registered to the estate. It's the estate is the owner of the domain, but it's registered to this super duper secret company that obviously didn't cover it too damn well because it's public information. So basically we were talking about the name servers, which is the uh, sub registry site that we, okay, we know the site also is doing Michael Jackson stuff. I decided to, to look at the last part of this report. So it has like, it has just a hundred companies that are sharing that name server. So, and I lost it because this guy owns this company that has this, that, that uses this name server. It's a company he uses. And I'm like, okay, I pull it up and I immediately start seeing I mean, what do you guys see immediately? What do you start seeing? Look at this. I mean, the estate has been using this guy for years. 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 They're not all Michael, but like 90% of these, 90% of these are like uh, the estate of Michael Jackson. And these are all the sites that they have registered to this name server. It's completely insane. There are some things in here, though, that really freak me out. One thing that I did see in here that, um, and let me see if I can control F it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Michael Joe Jackson, the movie was registered by the estate on August 9th of 2017. So I guess that whole Joe versus Joseph thing is very obvious now. Um, that kind of puts that rumor to rest. Clearly, if the estate is registering something under Michael Joe Jackson, the movie, that is clearly Michael's name. It's not Joseph. If they could have easily just said Joseph. His name is Michael Joe Jackson. I hope people just can take that as a clue. That's what his name is. So that, again, just verifies and validates so many things. But that's what his name is. Another thing that I saw in here that really, really, like, that kind of the icing on the cake that opened a whole can of worms for me that I thought was really strange. I saw on here. Okay, are you guys ready for this crazy shit? So, healtheworld.org was registered on December 19th, 2001 by the estate of Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, so, so many weird things with that. First of all, why the hell was the estate, why did Michael have an estate on December 19th, 2001. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I've been researching this all day. I am pretty sure your estate 
is something that comes when you die. There's a state planning before you die. There's a state planning. There's a planning of your will or what's going to happen with your things. But your estate is what you're valued as when you pass away, what you're valued at when you die. Why the hell did Michael have an estate on December 19th, 2001? Registering healtheworld.org. He shouldn't have, it, you have a, a trust, but not an estate. This is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. This is crazy. This is like, there's so many things with this. And like, I there, there are things that I want to talk about that are on here, but this has already gone kind of long. Um, this is food for thought. You guys, this is crazy. I mean, look at these dates. You have like for years. All these sites under this company. I mean, this is, if anything, it's just validation that that it's legitimate, that this guy's legitimate, that it all comes full circle, that the Michael Jackson estate now owns MichaelJacksonDeathHoax.com. And we do not know why they acquired it, what they're using it for. But <laughs> it's so funny that they acquire it when they acquire things such as MJJVentures.com or the JacksonEstate.com or uh, Michael Joe Jackson, the movie.com. So this is crazy. I want you guys to kind of ponder on this, sleep on it, think about it, talk about it, comment below, subscribe to me. I am, I am doing a lot of things right now. I'm very busy, but like this, just, I told you guys that my spidey senses were going off a couple weeks ago. I felt weird. And I think I just really feel like all of this stuff is just really finally starting to like, just really come out. Wade Robson's a case, account a case was dismissed today um that is a big thing because every time something's about to happen it's like these accusations come out of nowhere this case was was dismissed today it's gone so i could just say like expect a lot of stuff to start happening a lot of big things to start happening um i'm going to get into all of that but i really need you guys to subscribe to my videos um it's really important to me because i can't always post i'm gonna release something. So please subscribe to me. Please share this video. This video is monumental. It's a big deal. There's a lot of tangible information in here. I mean, the estate is literally like owning MichaelJacksonDeathHoax.com. A lot of you guys, like you're with me, like I know what I know, um, but it's still like, it's, it's a huge milestone for us. We've been doing this for years. We've been waiting for years for something to make sense. So if you're still hanging around and you waited, I know that right now you should feel like some kind of validation, like this is crazy, like this is big news because this is validation of so many things that we already knew. Um, so definitely sound off below, comment, talk about it, discuss and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon. I have another video coming out soon, but yes, this is just amazing information and like I said, I did not find the original information, but I did dig deeper because it was just that important to me. So yeah, just if you want a copy of this report, I actually downloaded it. So just if you want a copy of it, um, give me a thumbs up and send me a message and I will send you a copy of it. All right, guys, uh, have a great night. I'm going to try to get some sleep here, but you've been great and I hope you like the video. Subscribe. Thanks.